Come get some. What's up YouTube? The Raven here and I'm going to be stripping down the bolt carrier on my AR-15 and I'm going to give it a, a general cleaning and uh, lubrication. Um, the cleaner I'm going to be using is, is M-Pro-7's gun cleaner and the oil is M-Pro-7's gun oil. So first thing we need to do is separate the upper and lower receivers. Take down the pivot pins, separate the upper and lower. And then remove the bolt carrier. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the firing pins retaining pin, which is right here. And if you're out in the field, you can do this with a, the, uh, the nose of a bullet, but any long sharp object will do. So you remove the firing pins retainer pin. Set that to the side. And then the firing pin will come right out. And it gets pretty, pretty nasty and dirty. So set that to the side. Now next, you need to remove your the cam pin for the bolt, which is this piece right here. You, uh, you twist the pin and then just work it out. And then set that to the side. And now the bolt and bolt carrier will separate. As you can see, that's pretty nasty as well. Uh, I lubricate this often, but it's been a while since I've actually cleaned it. So, so. I'm going to take the Impro 7 gun oil or gun cleaner and I'm going to spray these various uh, parts the bolt, the firing pin, retaining pin, and the cam. Uh, the cam pin. I'm going to spray this with the uh, Impro 7 gun cleaner and let that set for a few minutes. And while it's setting, the cleaner will break down all of the, uh, the dirt, grime, and carbon buildup. I'm also going to spray the uh, bolt carrier with the Emperor 7 gun cleaner and let that set as well. Now the firing pin doesn't usually need scrubbed. You can usually just wipe it down. It's steel. Uh, it's, it's a pretty smooth surface. You don't usually have uh, too much problem with dirt, grime, and carbon getting embedded into the, into, the, uh, into the metal. So just wiping that down usually will be sufficient. And then the retaining pin, we're not going to scrub either just because we don't want to damage it. So if we damage it, we'll have to get another one. Now I'm going to be using Q-tips to get into some of the more the uh, the tighter areas, like the hole in the cam pin. And then with the bolt, I have this nylon brush just to get all of the embedded grime out. We're going to scrub along the uh, tight areas and the little nooks and crannies that uh, carbon carbon likes to build up onto. Now the bolt can be uh, stripped down a little bit further, but it's not necessary for what I'm doing to it. You know, um, there's some really tiny pieces, like uh, I believe a detent 
and then some really small spring with the uh, ejector spring and the extractor and a uh, spring under the extractor that can be removed if you want to give it a real dig of detail clean. But as I said, those are really small parts, so I'm not going to remove those. There are various multi tools available for cleaning your bolt and bolt carrier, which I have. I have just misplaced at the moment. Now, once that's been scrubbed, just wipe it down. You want to make sure you get all the cleaner off. Q-tip seems to work pretty well on the bolt. bolt carrier again um, we're going to give it a, a light scrubbing with our nylon brush Now for the interior of the bolt carrier, I find that what works very well um, and almost fits perfectly is a shotgun uh, barrel barrel mop. Um, it, it's almost a perfect fit, and it'll you know it, it, it'll get all the way through the bolt carrier with ease. So that's what we're going to be doing. section of the, of the carrier that the bolt fits into generally will get pretty pretty disgusting. Okay, next we're going to lubricate and reassemble the bolt carrier. So we're going to start with the bolt. And make sure that you get oil into all of these recesses. And for now, just put the bolt in the carrier. Now we're going to replace the cam pin.
twist that cam pin around once you got it in. Next, take your firing pin, put a light coating of oil on it. And then put that back in. And then finally, we're going to replace the firing pin's retainer pin. Now comes the bolt carrier itself. Now anywhere you have signs of wear on the carrier, like right here along the underside, and anywhere you see that it's, it's quite obviously rubbing and coming into contact with metal, um, you want to make sure you definitely get those areas lubricated. This is also a good time to check your firing pin or your uh, your firing pin's retainer pin for signs of wear. Um, if it looks like it's being wore down, just go ahead and replace the firing the retainer pin at that point. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.